Welcome back to From the Newsroom. I'm your host, Nathan Gladden, and today's top story, on April 12th to the 13th, the Emmett Till Project presentation took place at Dempster Hall. Koki Lynn has more on the story. SEMA hosted the Emmett Till Project, a project that seeks to tell the story of young Emmett Till, a boy lynched in Mississippi and the spark for the civil rights movement. We had a chance to speak with Reverend Wheeler Parker Jr., spokesperson for the project and the cousin of Emmett Till, about the importance of the story that he tells. I think the purpose is to keep uh, the story alive, unless we forget, when we tend to forget about this subject to repeat it. So the goal is kind of keep it going and to uh, uh, make America aware how far we've come and how much work we still have to do. And aware they were made. For those who attended the event, they had a chance to hear firsthand not only Reverend Parker's experience, but to learn about Emmett Till. From stories of his time playing football to days spent in leisure with his family, attendees had a chance to learn about the real Emmett Till. The event, however, wasn't just contained to the auditorium it was hosted in. For professors like Shay Cecil, it was also an opportunity to get students involved. Yes, I am, I guess, co-chair uh, of the Emmett Till Project. So Dr. Branson and I and our committee, we kind of sat around and said, what do we want to do, um, not only for the college students, but we also reached out to high school students and we had an essay winning contest. Uh, so we wanted to make, make it intergenerational as well. Events like these are an important part of what makes SEMO diverse and experiential. It is not simply about learning about events, but being given the chance to see them and experience them face to face that paves the way for the next generation. For The Arrow, I'm Koki Lin. Thank you, Koki. For more information on the story, check out Lizzie Stock's article in the description below. Now, on to the Weekly Roundup with your host, Caleb Hoggard. Welcome back to the Weekly Roundup, where we recap some of the most prevalent news stories taking place on and off campus. On Wednesday, April 5th, an EF2 tornado rampaged through Bollinger County, less than an hour away from Cape Girardeau, to which five individuals tragically lost their lives. Whether it's temporary or permanent, lives for Bollinger County residents have changed. However, the KFES Heartland Cares Tornado Relief Campaign has raised more than $40,000 for the tornado victims in Bollinger County as of April 14th. According to KFES.com, the Salvation Army has helped aid victims as they've been supplying victims with gift cards so they can go and fill any immediate needs that they have. If you or someone you know may be interested in aiding victims, you can help by texting STORM to 51555 to help with recovery efforts from the April 5th tornado or by visiting www.helpsalvationarmy.org. Look for Bollinger County tornadoes on the donation page. As temperatures begin to rise, it only makes sense that people will want to leave town to head to the beach or go on vacation. When it comes to traveling, a financial priority should be having gas money to make the trip to the beach or even get to the airport. In Cape Girardeau, we have actually seen gas prices go down since the beginning of the year. According to AAA, Missouri averages $3.23 per gallon, and Cape's right alongside the state average sitting at $3.22 per gallon. However, gas prices have decreased 58 cents or 15.3% since the start of the year, but have almost gone up 3% this week alone. So if you're like me on a tight budget and a broke college student, be sure to watch your gas prices when taking trips this upcoming summer. One thing I'm not looking forward to when it comes to summer is that blistering heat. But don't worry, we won't see any signs of summer this week as temperatures will be all over the place. Wednesday will be a high of 81, also the hottest day of the week, but will be partly cloudy. Starting Thursday, you will begin to feel a decline in temperature as it will be a high of 79 but drop to 65 degrees on Friday. This weekend will feature even colder temperatures as Saturday will be a high of 55 with showers throughout the day and Sunday being a high of 58, but at least the sun will be out. Did I also mention that thunderstorms will be scattered throughout the area Thursday through Saturday? Missouri weather, am I right? And here I thought my life was complicated. Anyways, thank you for joining me on this edition of the Weekly Roundup. I'm Caleb Hoggard. Back to you, Nathan. Thank you, Caleb, for that weekly dose of news. And stay tuned next week for another episode of From the Newsroom. I'm your host, Nathan Gladden. Good night, Cape Girardeau.